Bishop. Let's see. Trying to get Bishop on his camera, y'all. <laughs> there it goes, Bishop. What's good, Bishop? I can't hear you. Can't hear me. Hold up. Oh, no, I can't hear you. Can you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, we... like you in a man cave or something. I'm in the bat cave right now. Okay. I'm you got your hair cut. It looks different from yesterday. What? Your hair. You got your hair cut? No, I just got out of the shower. Oh, okay. So you looking good for the people. Otherwise, me got on the hat. Fuck these people. Oh. <laughs> What's up, though? Oh, we got a radio, so we can cuss. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so Bishop, tell them what this tell them what this is about. This Dr. Bishop Couch. This is about polygamy. How people feel about it. I I got so much to say about this. Well, not really, but I feel like. Wait, wanna... before you get your feelings, because I know how you can go. Let's 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 talk about what polygamy is. Because some people, they just think of it as sharing a mate. And some people are like, oh, I'm too selfish. I'm not sharing nobody. That was most of the conversation that we had on Facebook. Um, shout out to everybody who responded to our question of the week. It's going to be every Monday, the 5A5 report, 100.9 WXIR. All right. So we know polygamy, that's man, multiple wives. Polyandry, woman, multiple husbands. So I know everybody like, no, my woman ain't going to have multiple husbands and all of that. It's always sexist. The woman has to just be with one person, but the man could, you know, have multiple wives. But that's a whole other thing. So, I feel like people look down on a woman having multiple husbands more than a guy having multiple wives. Right. So I'm like... Well, okay, let's go to how it all started. So, like, in societies back in the day, it was about, like, accumulating wealth and political power. So mm -hmm. that's what it was about. Or they wanted, men wanted to produce sons. So that, that's what it was really about. But now, like, people trying to turn it in to something that is not, like, if a man wanted to get sex, like, he can do that. Like, he doesn't have to marry a woman to get sex or, you know, sleep with multiple women. He can do that. Right. So it's much more to it than that. But what are your thoughts? As the whole, as polygamy in the whole, you got to remember, back in the day, this was, like, normal. Like, this is what, like, this is what a lot of people that, if they really trace their roots, your ancestors from across the waters, they've been doing, they was doing this for centuries. Like this was- Huh? As, as some cultures are still doing it. Yeah, uh, well now that's like, a, I forgot her name. She's like, uh, almost like a governor of a count country or something over there. And she's trying to get rid of it in Africa now. She's trying mm -hmm. to- I do trying to do away with multiple wives and husbands and trying to westernize their civilization over there. But people got to remember that over there across the waters, and then, honestly speaking, people look at it like it's just an African thing. This has been going on everywhere, especially yeah. like the biggest place, like right now in America, if you want a polygamous relationship, go to Utah. It is notorious. Uh, in, wasn't there like a... Um... A reality show? I think there was a reality show, like a polyamorous reality show. Was this recent or old? I think it's old. I'm gonna have to look that up now. That's so we had um somebody on the comments. Let me read his comment. All right, so he said this was um our guy over at Be Healthy, niggas. 
polygamy is natural and even when people practice monogamy statistically they are they still practice something anthropologists call effective polygamy meaning males according to statistic will be in stable relationships but have multiple baby moms, thus acting out their biological nature. Some people are more genetically suited for polygamy and some monogamy. Many are opposed against cheating, but this is also natural, cons yet considered immoral. So he's saying cheating is natural, but it's considered immoral. Animals cheat for different reasons. New pair bonding assures new offspring, which benefits the survival of the entire species. Some people are actually more genetically suited to cheat. So that's why polygamy might work for them. So would it the cheat? <laughs> so don't act like um don't act like men are out here having babies all over town. Honestly, some men really can't afford to be in polygamous relationships. That's just being yeah. one hundred honest. Like, you know, when you gotta remember uh, when they say a man can't afford to be in that polygamous relationship, you gotta remember a polygamous relationship, everybody contributes to that house. So it's not like this man is just taking care of all these wives or whatever. Everybody is putting in, like, it's like everybody's putting in a pot, it's not just one person like carrying the entire load even though he's well, the main situations we're there is one person carrying the entire load my um one of my students was telling me how her sister um she's married her husband has three wives and they do all the housework like they do everything they do the cooking the, the cleaning the ironing and he takes care of the entire household so in that situation he's a breadwinner and they just do what he says he rich, rich. Well, I, I can't tell you what he does professionally, but I know a pro of polygamy is there is a division of work. I know when I come home from a long day, I don't necessarily want to do the dishes. I don't want to do laundry. I don't want to have to sweep and mop. But if I had a sister wife, yo, you do the dishes, you iron, you cook. And that's, that's that's how it is. That's what they do though, but uh, like I just don't see like I think it's more difficult for people to want to jump into it now, cause you know now people just look at it as oh let's go find us another bitch. Yeah, and they think of it like it's taboo or people. Like one person that was on one of our comments, she said, like the only way that she sees that happening is if she went out of town with her man and they got up with some random person and they didn't never talked about it again. So I mean, it's like people are ashamed of it, but like it has to be understand that somebody got in the comments and said, my understanding is that a man must be able to provide for his wife equally. Yes, so. That's why I'm saying, like, men, they they stay there with it, but I don't think many men can handle the financial responsibility of taking care of multiple wives. Another, I guess you can say pro, is, um like, I mean, there's, I guess there's a sexual, you know, you get pleas from multiple people, so I guess there's a, that part. They, I think they got like a sex schedule. A sex schedule? Listen, I might be wrong, but I was reading something, and it said that the women could only have sex with the husband. They can't involve relations with each other. So it's not like they all sleep in the same bed at night. That's some love and hip hop junk. That's like flavor of love. Y'all should have a king size bed and everybody is in his bed. Like you get picture you picture you a sister wife, he get mad at you and be like, You can't sleep in here tonight, go in go in your room. I'm sure like, that <laughs> like think about the think about the emotional nature of a woman, period. 
And to have to, like, that's where on this understanding has to be, like, everybody has to be on the same page for this to work out. Because otherwise, like, you can't have one person getting jealous and you can't have someone have them bickering. I'm not, like, that wouldn't work out. And I think these women are more, like, submissive. You have to be more submissive in order to participate in a situation, an arrangement like this. And um, also, it's right. like, Think about when you all start having kids and you have like a whole bunch of kids. Like, I would love for somebody to help me with my kids. So I think we all think about it from the standpoint of sharing somebody. But it's like, it could be so much more than that if the understanding is there, if everybody is on the same page. Now, somebody got to get their tools tied. Yeah, because you can, yeah, because at some point, you can't just keep having kids, like. Okay, you remember? I don't know if you remember it, but that it was it was based on a true story. You remember so, Waco? So, someone said it's hard enough to please one woman. No, thank you. Come on, Vince. You dark skinned brother. Can't be making her go out like this, fam. <laughs> Bottle them poop pills and do your business. That's what the honey for. Oh, that's another thing. Like, so the sex, like, if he wanted and the woman don't want it, or the woman wanted and he like, nah, not you tonight. I want somebody else. That's another thing that could cause an issue. And that with that comes, I think when it comes to the sex thing, you're not gonna have the same sexual chemistry with all of them. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you're gonna have your favorite. I think that, that, in my opinion, that would develop, like, okay, like, if I know I got this freak right here, and you just add, eh, you know, I'm going to be leaning more towards her every night, but then I got to slide back to you, because you're technically my wife, and I can't just, like, have you just slaving around the house for nothing. Like, Well, you're like, saying for nothing, as if the peen is, um, like, some kind of incentive for being with him. I'm too into this. <laughs> That's one of my students. <laughs> they need to get off of this. I'm not sure I'm on board at all, but why is it that men always seem to be the one with multiple women and not that? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm saying, like, it's men are always the one. It's it's okay for women. But it's, I don't think I want multiple husbands. I don't it's want. Not, it's not that women don't have multiple men. It's just that it's not as publicized as much as the men with all the wives. There's definitely women out here with three or four husbands. This is that's that's definitely real. Hey, friends. Me personally, I can. I don't care how much. I, okay, so I saw this. Uh, Twitter thing today, and it was these two guy best friends, and it was like we're we've been best friends forever, and we're in love with the same girl. So they share a girlfriend, and his caption was like, "We got too much history to be mad at each other or over chick, so we just share." Her. And she's cool with that, and it's like I don't have that in me. Like, yeah, most. Men don't want to share a woman. Like, most men, and I don't want multiple husbands. Like, I couldn't, like, I have a difficult time enough dealing with the male species. I don't know if I could deal with multiple husbands. But I feel like ladies have multiple boyfriends, though. Like, they are... We be knowing. No, don't even do that. Don't do that. <laughs> We definitely be knowing. Y'all think y'all know. We just we just play it off and go get another chick. No, but that's where like that understanding has to has to be there, right? Like that communication, that understanding has to be there. But there are another another good part of polygamy. If it's done where the understanding is there, like there's security in it. Because the women's their children are supposed to inherit what the husband have. This is saying if the husband has money, though. If the husband is wealthy. 
So they protect each other. You have a big family. That's another pro of having. And then I couldn't imagine the household being really entertaining with a big family like that. Like, does it, uh, when they go out looking, like, the first husband, or, like, because this guy I know, Ali, he's Muslim, and he has three wives. But he, like, him and his first wife, they've been married for, like, 12 years. And she had to approve of the second wife. And the first and second wife had to approve for the third wife. Like, how do y'all even go recruiting for a wife? Or a husband like yo, bro. I like what kind of man goes and say yo, bro. I think you should join our marriage. I think it'll be real chill. <laughs> that just gives me like nah, fair. like I yeah, just you, you don't you don't see that. You don't you def you don't see it. We have a person who comment. She says she thought about it many times. When looking into this concept, I was told every woman is sexually equal to his desire. So, I mean, that makes sense. Like, I'm not going to bring you into this if you're not matching my energy. What if they already match your energy once? Like, once you win, can you get out? Or is it like a blood in, blood out type of thing? No, I feel like it's a marriage. Like, with any marriage, you could leave a marriage, right? I know in a Muslim culture, isn't like divorce kind of like taboo. Yeah, you like that's like to the grave for real, for real. Like you're not yeah. with me, you gotta die. Yeah, but um, I see that I don't see polygamy as being a bad thing. I don't see it as being a bad thing. I see too many goods in it however I just wonder about the household dynamic that's just my concern and then what if the guy is cheating and he brings something into the household now we all got it you can say the same for a female what if yeah, one of your uh, if they're committing to that situation, chances are, like, they're just within that situation. <coughs> so if he get AIDS or HIV, not a whole family got it. Damn, that's pretty extreme. I'm saying, like, it's the truth. Like, you can go with chlamydia or gonorrhea first or some shit. You go, you go to the whole, like, the big stuff, like, the real issue, like, damn, man, yo. And then uh, people, I think they would do it. However, they have like a fear of public judgment. Because there's already some people who are out here sharing men. And they, and they don't care. Right. You know, and you want to know what's crazy about that statement you just made? How many times have you seen a chick post on social media it was like, you do this, you do that, but he come here every night? Like, I, shit like that. Yeah. Like, I know, I know people who are out here sharing men. Like, I could name them. But you don't want to participate and get married because the marriage benefits you. His inheritance benefits you. All of that. <laughs> so, lot, that was more sense. Who marry at a level that they should have been passed in life. Say it again. A lot of people marry at a level that they should have been passed already. Like, what you mean? say for instance, a lot of people these days are just popping up to get married just say they married now because they washed up already. You done did all your single stuff, got all that, got all them negative vibes out of you. Now you wholesome after you done been thrashed in the streets. And <laughs> now and you want to get married, and you should have been past that level already in life. And that's why I feel like if I was to have three or four wives, they all got to be virgins. Why? Why? Hey, but you could be sexually active, but you're a wife. Virgin. If they virgins and we all get married and we all got this whole house. They're like so huh? 
team. They're inexperienced. Huh? They're inexperienced, but my expertise <laughs> that's gonna make the whole <laughs> house of it. Like the whole house. So of you teach you teaching four women how to please you. As that's that's the, yeah. And that's what most men do in these marriages. They teach the women how to please them. Every woman doesn't please the man the exact same way. But if Just, you're guiding them, wouldn't it make sense that they will? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, there's levels to this polygamy. So would you would you be involved in a polygamous relationship? Fuck no. <laughs> Why? Right. If I ain't letting the chick spin a block on me, you think I'm about to have more than six personalities and three women? I can't deal with these mood swings and all this shit. Like, nah, fam, like, you picture you come home, curse everybody out. Now, you got eight people in this house all mad at each other. That's just negative vibes. You Thank burn you. this cage by the pound. Like, it's just too much. It's it's too much that goes into like devoting yourself to multiple. That's why I like, believe it or not, as crazy as it sounds, I really don't cheat on females. I don't have the energy in me to deal with multiple people at one time because I'm already dealing with you and your shit. Now I'm about to slide off, deal with her and her shit. Once she found out about you, now she bringing more shit. It just it just keeps piling. I don't have that mental capacity to deal with my life. The shit I got going on, and both of y'all shit because y'all tripping. I would rather just have one chick or stay single. That's all you got to do out here. But there are situations where there's peace in the home. Like, like I foresee these situations. People understand each other. Everybody has their place. Yeah, number one, two, three, is one. And I can see like. I don't see people who involve women who involve themselves in polygamous relationships are the kind of women that are going to talk back. I see them as very submissive women. I'm gonna do what you say. I'm gonna cook it clean. I'm gonna clip you. Them as being those type of women. So I don't see all the drama that you say that will happen in those relationships. I don't see that as being a thing. Question. Have you ever seen an interracial polygamous relationship? Saw so a black man with multiple white like, wives? Like, no, like a black man with a black wife, a white wife, an Asian wife. Like, he got flavors. <laughs> like, <laughs> that might be an uh, interesting dynamic, but no. Now, if we talking about having different flavors... Then I might dabble in the possibility thought of having multiple wives. If it if I have to stay with one culture, no. But if I can have flavors, I'm all in. Hmm. Our dinner table will be lit. Have so that's about eat, food. Eat some chitterlings and hog mark epinatas. That'd be crazy. Bishop, that's so gross. We're gonna be experienced. Bury men like hell in our household. <laughs> no, but seriously though, on a serious note, I don't think I've ever seen an interracial polygamous relationship. No. I think it's always within your race or whatever it is, but I'm going to have to do some more research on this now because now I'm, now I'm interested. So I think for me, the sharing part is not that part because a lot of people are saying I'm selfish and I'm I don't want to share. And I don't think about it in that aspect. I think about in the time and commitment that you could give to me, like the, um, you know, the one-on-one -on -one time, the personal time, that intimate time. And if we got a house full of kids and a house full of wives, when will I get that? Because I'm big on intimacy. So that's one, that would be one con for me. That would be one reason why I would not, deal with the polygamous in a polygamous relationship because I need your time I need your space I need your energy and if I'm not getting that and you're sharing it with a house full of people and the time that we do spend together is not meaningful 
then that will push me away from being in a polygamous relationship. I need your time. I need your energy. I need that intimacy. I need hugs and kisses and being all about me. So and not that, sex part, this, but this I, was like that, All that goes under like guidelines for like when they recruit you and stuff like that. It's like so it's a recruitment. It's not a recruitment. It's not like you go to a center and you sign an application and like no, they go out. They you. go out. Like, I was watching this one show, and the wife would go out to, like, she would go out to, like, bars and restaurants by herself just to, like, get a feel for another woman and introduce the woman to the possibility of it, and they took it from there or whatever, and on the show, she was basically saying, we're all equal, like, it's not your third will or nothing like this, like, we all have the same, we all have the same chemistry. Like we're all one. But one chick always catches more, one person always catches feelings deeper for somebody else in their relationship. It's just, it's just impossible to go by. And I just feel like that's not something a lot of people, these, not back then, these days, a lot of people can't be put in that situation to where they start catching bigger feelings for somebody, but they can't, like, advance any more than what they are. If you're sister wife number four, that's where you are. Because number one is literally the top dog on the food chain when it comes to the wives. But if you love this man more than she do or somebody else, no matter what, you can't ever get pushed up. Right. So yeah. they go out, they go out looking for these wives and husbands. They it's a recruitment process. Nobody just wake up the next morning and be like, you know, Susan that worked with me, I think she'll be down. Nah, they actually, they actually like do homework on females and males and stuff to bring them into their home. And nah, you're not about to do that with me. I'm sorry. Like, bitch, like, you know, okay, I got a perfect example for you. Okay. A dude is quick to ask a female for a threesome with no second thought. Let a female go to a dude and be like, I want to have a threesome with this guy. Like, the fuck? Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you see yeah. how that works? Yeah, polyandry, a lot of people, it's not even really a thing. Like, it used to be a thing. It's not really a big thing anymore. Um, yeah. People, they, they aren't with that. So, it's 7.30. Give your overview. What are, what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts on polygamy? Listen, honestly speaking, this is from my opinion. Don't do that shit. <laughs> I, and I only say don't do it because our generation, I don't know what generation we are. We're not, what, what generation are we? Well, we're not we millennials. We millennials, right? I don't think no, we're not millennials. We're before them. Well, the our, this, generation. our our generation and then the millennials, they're not cut for this type of this type of lifestyle because we live in a we live in a time to where to where jealousy and envy run so deep and people have ulterior motives when they get into relationships or when they Say they could bring something to the table. You never can really trust somebody these days, as bad as it sounds. And to openly become a second, third, or fourth option when you know for a fact that there is no advancing and you're stuck in this situation, I, I don't think this generation, like if they just popped up and said, everybody right now got to have two or three wives or husbands, we will buckle, we will fold. Right. And like, you think about drama that would ensue on like social media and stuff like that like you it was supposed to be like you post her or why you posted him every monday i live in this household too like it's just it's just so much it's so much backlash that will come from showing affection to one more than the other and that would just that's why i say we're, this generation isn't set for because you 
you see how people are right now with one person. Now right. you about to do two and three and four and five and six or whatever you want to do. Listen, if you can handle it by all means, dabble in the water, but don't come running out that tub when you burn your feet. Oh. All right. <laughs> so for those who are still tuning in, we will be doing this every Monday. We'll have a question of the week. And Dr. Bishop from the 5A5 report is going to discuss his thoughts and opinions. And remember, they are not indicative of WXIR 100.9. Totally separate. <laughs> All right. So make sure y'all tune in to us, the 5A5 report. We're on each and every Sunday at 6 p.m. We're on Facebook Live. You can catch us. You can dial in 5A5 219-8889. Join the conversation. Tune in app. That's another way to listen to us on Sundays. And yeah, make sure you follow us social media. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We are on Instagram. And we will see you guys on Sunday, 6 p.m. 100.9 WXIR. Peace.